here's what I just let you know that you can now go ahead and download Google Chrome 12. It's been out for a couple of weeks right now on the Canary Build channel and it recently got released to the dev channel so basically that means that we have some new awesome features that I'm going to show you in this video so the first new thing in Google Chrome 12 it's kind of big and I'm not sure if I'm going to use it but it's called multi tab select and it's for Windows users only right now and it's basically a feature where you could select multiple tabs and do actions to them let's say you want to move two tabs then hold down the control key when you are on a tab and then you know click on the tabs that you want to perform actions to and then do the actions so basically this is how it looks like now I can only uh, get this to work with two tabs I'm not sure if it should be like that but it works like this you hold down the control key and then you select the tab and then you select another tab and you will see that it will get kind of like hoovered you have this kind of effect and then you can move them around I'm not sure you should like be able to do other actions as well like uh, reloading and closing and stuff like that so that's kind of sweet okay so that's the first thing the multi task selecting hopefully it will come to other browser other operating system as well okay so that's the first thing then also they've added some stuff to the about flags this experimental page first off they have seems to be experimenting with this little let's see if I can find it here yeah the new tab page like when you open up a new tab this is what you get right now you can see my bookmarks you can see my programs you can see my little mail there if I'm logged in you can see my most uh, visited sites you can see the little Google Chrome logo there and not that much more and now also I can close the programs if I want as well I can remove them as well yeah that's how the tab page look right now but they are now experimenting with another little page that you can try out it's called experimental new tab page so you just go to about flags and yeah be sure that you have Google Chrome 11 I will provide down links in the description okay so let's try to activate it and you will see the difference from this let's just restart okay so we have now restarted our little device so as you can see this is the new experimental tab page the new one and yeah you can see my ha I have my apps here and then I have something called foo yeah I don't have anything there and then I have something called bar but I love this it, it looks real like clean and I assume that you have a kind of scrolling feature here if you have a ton of apps so I mean it's cool it's cool also you have my recently closed here and the Google Chrome logo here and it looks very clean uh, I love it because you know iOS devices it looks so simple you have all the apps and I just love what Apple no not Apple I just love what Google is doing here okay and also it seems like they've added a new little experimental thingy that I couldn't find on this little about flags Page, but it seems to be a FPS counter that will display a loading page frame rate the FPS when hardware exploration is being used so if, if you like that cool things then you know you just try to activate everything and then you will see which one it is but I mean go with just trying out things because they have a lot of work and you know then they want to do some fun stuff sometimes but yeah guys that seems to be the biggest uh, changes that I've seen that's going to come in Google Chrome 12 we will hopefully see the stable coming in the, yeah it's gonna take some time maybe June maybe May if we are pretty lucky but I'm not quite sure but it's definitely going to be cool see you